Hello everyone. Uh, today we have a, a really standard problem. Comes in a couple of varieties, um, but uh, sorry about uh, being out of recording cycle for a while. I've been traveling. Uh, bear with me. I'm trying to get uh, a schedule so we can I can record one soon, one problem a day again. Uh, okay, so here is this problem. So here is a spring cons spring um, and there's another spring and the block is right in the middle and moves around like that so you pull it and let go it's gonna block we just go back and forth back and forth and it's we're supposed to figure out the period of that block okay <clears throat> uh, another variation of this problem is uh, you variation uh, let me uh, let me do the variation of this. Uh, another variation will be uh, you have uh, one spring K1 and then you have some kind of knot and K2 uh, and the block is attached here and you the, so th this is a variation that uh, kind of similar to that but uh, uh, I will do that uh, in another video, but beware that these are kind of similar type of technique. So what do we go, uh, how do we uh, get the formula, okay? Uh, if you want to go ahead and solve this problem, come back and look at my answer, that's fine. So uh, the way I would go is, uh, I would say recall uh, one spring problem. So if you had one spring and it has a K and M, the way we do it is we look at uh, M X double dot, a dot is D D T time two times. So this acceleration equals to minus K X. And so this equation, the way we solve it is X is equal to some a cosine omega t some b sine omega t and omega t is angular frequency omega is angular frequency and if you work it out put put in here this omega is omega square equals to k over m and omega is we take a plus for the frequency k over m and omega is uh, 2 pi over t because it's angular and 1 over t is the frequency 1 over t is frequency and 2 pi is the radian so this omega is 2 pi over t so you can see from here t is going to be equal to um, <clears throat> 2 pi square root of m over k so this this how we get a you go from uh, once you get an equation like this so uh, you can actually read off from the equation directly. Okay, so our task will be to figure out uh, equation of motion for, uh, for, for this guy, equation of motion for this guy, uh, which looks like this, okay? So that's the strategy. Let me clean up over here and we can uh, implement this strategy. All right, so let's see, this is a uh, situation as at some time t. So this is t some time t, it's here, right? And this is the origin. And uh, th this is, uh, so we need to find forces here. You can see K1, this spring is stretched. This is where the equilibrium we are. This is the equilibrium. So from here, uh, force from, this spring is this way and force from this, this is compressed by the same amount x uh, is also that way so both f1 and f2 are in the same on the negative direction so so m x double dot equals to minus k1 x and also minus k2 x it's really very simple so now this one is like a minus k1 
plus k2 x and you compare that this k is just this somehow is like an effective k is the sum of the two k's so uh, you can you can say i'm going to write this as minus kx and k is k1 plus k2 and then i just copy all of that and so time period is 2 pi the square root of k1 plus k2 oh uh, this i'm sorry this m over k1 plus k2 so that's how the answer is so uh, so this is the answer so t is 2 pi m over k this is really almost uh, too trivial once you see it okay so let's do the other problem also in this uh, uh, in, in, in this session okay I just in my mind I'm going to do the other problem uh, the extension of this problem in in the next video in a separate video so that problem is that uh, that problem is this thing I just erased so this will be k1 and k2 and this will go I'm gonna do next video okay stop this hello uh, welcome to another problem session so um, here we have a, a interesting problem where it's a variation of the uh, another problem I've solved. So if you haven't seen that other problem, uh, go ahead. Maybe I'll just do a little review. If, uh, so here is a problem. And instead of doing this, uh, it's kind of like a, if you remember one, is, one spring problem. It goes like this. So these are two springs like that. You have one spring and a mass. And so this is the x axis, and at some point it's x of t. And so if you write the equation of motion, uh, mx double dot is minus kx for this because the force is that way, is force is because kx and negative comes from because direction is opposite to the x axis. And this the dot means means d d t as before and so this is acceleration okay so the solution of this is x, x equals to a cosine omega t plus b sine omega t and sometimes you write like as c cosine omega t plus phi it's the same thing so this is a sinusoidal and omega squared is equal to k over m and so omega is plus because we can interpret as a frequency and is 2 pi over t which is the same thing as 2 pi times frequency f is the frequency okay regular frequency and this is the angle of frequency all right so this we remember so once uh, we get a equation motion like this i can just read off the time period so time period is 2 pi square root of m over k from 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 doing this so i can just read off once i get an equation like that so uh trick is how to get it to behave like this over here okay so here is a, a little trippy let's see at some time I, at so this is the equilibrium this is the equilibrium and at some time say it's uh, kind of all stretched out okay and say this was length l1 and this was length l2 originally those lengths are not very going to be very important now is uh this one is l1 plus x1 so it stretches x1 and this one is l2 plus x2 
so this distance is x1 plus x2 right because the whole thing is this 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 got bigger by x1 and this got bigger by x2 uh, so and this was the origin so this x is actually how much this guy stretched how much this guy stretched right so if you uh if you gave what what is the equation of motion for this block uh that won't be enough we'll have to have equation motion for this middle point as well so this middle point we're just going to mass mu which is close which gonna assume that's to be zero so we're going to write equation of motion for this guy and this guy and then we can stare at it and see what can we do okay so let's uh let's write down the equation of motion for this guy so the equation of motion this will be mu uh maybe it used to be over here and this is just x1 is gone distance x1 so mu uh let's call this y because it was mu y this 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 we we can just use for y variable for this guy y double dot which is zero so the forces on this will be force on the, this spring and force uh, of this spring they uh, they will have to be um, for uh, so this spring has stretched by x1 and so it's going to pull it back one minus k1 x1 and and this spring is uh, kind of stretched so it's going to be pulling both end in so 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 I'm, I'm looking at this guy this guy is pulling that way but the other one is going to be pulling that way uh, because that's the other end end is being pulled in and this is a stretch so it's going to be plus k2 x2 so that's one equation we got and let's uh, do about this guy is uh, m x double dot uh, is oh this only has a only one spring here minus um, and on that the force is that way there's only one force on that that's one of the problem here that I know you're thinking maybe this whole bench of springs is pulling it but when it comes to uh, force it's only contact forces from this second spring so k2 x2 and this x double dot is actually x1 plus x2 so this is m x1 double dot plus m x2 double dot is equals to minus k2 x2 so this second equation so you can see i can actually using these two uh, get equation in one of these so over here it says x1 is k2 over k1 x2 so i can actually try to plug this and get equation in just x2 so this is m uh, k2 over k1 uh plus one so this x2 double dot equals minus k2 x2 so these guys come together like that so now we uh we can immediately see that i can put this guy on the other side and i get m x2 double dot equals to minus k2 uh, k1 plus k2 k1 x2 so this is just like that you can just say minus k x2 and I got all this k uh, with a k equals to this thing uh, and we have uh, our formula I'm just gonna read them up now so time uh, the period will be 2 pi is square root of uh, uh, m over 
this k and the k is uh, 1 over uh, so let's look at k is k1 k2 over k1 plus k2 and if I look at 1 over k is 1 over k1 plus 1 over k2 so this is equal to 2 pi the square root of m 1 over k1 plus 1 over k2 so that's going to be the answer for this problem uh, you can just uh, you can see this is a pretty interesting problem and it uh, it comes uh, it really requires us to uh, look at this I mean let me look at uh, look at this problem right this is very very important the middle part and the end part and the middle part because mu is zero I can call it zero acceleration is not zero this is not zero this object has is going to be oscillating so this there will be acceleration not zero but we can assume we assume that the uh, the knot itself is uh, a zero mass is zero so this is kind of like approximately true so this is approx so this is approximately true but this is true enough that we can use it and with this assumption uh, we come up with this problem now an interesting problem for you to do is what if this knot ha wasn't zero so this is uh, something uh, uh, an extension to this problem you might want to try uh, and I will leave that as a uh, as a tease for you to try uh, say mu is uh, zero uh, mu is uh, maybe m over 5 what if mu is not 0 try this now this actually it turns out to be a uh, rather difficult problem because you got two coupled masses so this this kind of problems are called coupled systems and it's not as easy to solve uh, and uh, you will solve this kind of problems in, in a higher level course but at this uh, introductory level course you won't be able to solve it you need m more uh, advanced mathematical techniques and but if you have advanced mathematical techniques and you think about couple systems uh, uh, you you uh, you want to uh, learn to solve them pro that problem all right, um, so I'll leave that here with that. Uh, I'll talk to you in another video. Bye.